Hi, it's Joe Winslow. I'm here with another internet video tutorial on how to locate, uh, obtain, and fall in love with bed bugs. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is move to New York City, where you're going to have no problem finding any bed bugs. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is pick up something off the street. Now, this could be a cardboard box, it could be a piece of wood. It could be a, a, a book, or it could be, you can even sit on a bench, or you could even take a bicycle tire, or you could just get a piece of clothing from your favorite thrift store. Um, but definitely don't take any bread, because you definitely don't want any bread bugs. Uh, once you've selected your item, take it straight home and put it right next to your bed. And then put on your favorite movie, put on your pajamas, and, and fall asleep. Congratulations! You officially have bed bugs. And when you wake up, you should be covered in dozens of tiny red bumps. And these irritations range in size, shape, and frequency. But the one thing that they all have in common is that they're not going anywhere for a very long time. Right now, bed bugs are very good at hide and seek, but their favorite hiding spot is usually on your mattress oh, wow. or your bed frame. Um, now, bed bugs can survive for an entire year without eating a meal and they reproduce by a process called traumatic, uh, traumatic insemination in which uh, the male pierces the female's abdomen and ejaculates into the open wound. Um, their eggs are also very resilient and are even harder to identify. Now, your roommates may not want bed bugs, and that's a-okay because there are dozens of ineffective solutions that you can uh, use to humor them during the next several months. Uh, first thing most people do is over-the-counter uh, bed bug killer. Uh, now this is going to be the, one of the first things you see when you enter a Home Depot right next to the door. Um, now, Despite the uh, attractive packaging, the contents of this, these solutions offer no guarantee that they will actually kill bed bugs. Uh, another optional precaution is to cover your entire room in wood filler uh, in the hopes that you'll smother some hidden colony during the process. Um, this is also an expensive waste of time. And now after a few weeks of trying that, um, your roommates will probably want to contact your landlord to talk about hiring a professional. When you meet up with your landlord, uh, he'll, he'll give you a couple of options, um, but you're going to need to make sure that he's uh, focused and paying attention because he may be uh, a little preoccupied during your proposal. Um, so once uh, once the meeting is finished, uh, your landlord will have uh, your landlord will hire an actor to come and inspect your apartment within the next couple of days. Now this actor is trained to convince you that um, you need his services. So your roommates will uh, hire him for a few more appearances during the next uh, couple months. Now. Uh, make sure you put on a pot of coffee because this is gonna be a this is gonna be a long it's gonna be a long week. Next step in the process is you're gonna go to Kmart and you're gonna get a bunch of uh, plastic bins because you're gonna have to quarantine everything you own into airtight um, containers before the treatment uh, before the treatment. Now make sure that you keep these in pristine condition because you're gonna be returning all of these for a full refund once the extermination is complete. Um, now when you get home, make sure you inspect everything you own with a tiny flashlight. Make sure there aren't any bed bugs hiding in there. Um, and you're also going to have to dry every single piece of clothing in your apartment on high heat and put it into garbage bags that you 
but in the middle of the apartment, just so there are no no critters hiding in there. Um, now, once the actor returns, uh, he's going to instruct you to exit your apartment for the next six hours while this mysterious process occurs that he cannot explain to you. So say goodbye and let him run loose and go wild uh, while you wander the city for the rest of the afternoon. Um, although we should be done in about 15 minutes. So now what you got to do is figure out something to do with the cat. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna put her in a box and bring her to a coffee shop um, and, and order a order a cookie. Uh, and this is a great way um, to meet women until you tell them why you have your cat with you. Uh, so once you return to your apartment, reset everything, um, lay down. Uh, take off your shirt and relax because this is one of the only moments where you will feel truly accomplished during the next few months because this process will continue until you are uh, completely broken. Now bed bugs are one of the most psychologically damaging, costly, and shameful infestations a New Yorker can have. You'll have to devote your social, professional, and romantic life to hosting your new guests. Uh, you may have to convince your girlfriend to meet in public um, because having bed bugs is kind of like having an STD that affects every part of your life. Um, so a after months of after months of frustrating, uh, ineffective ex uh, exterminations, your roommates may finally want to th throw in the towel and move into a new apartment. Um, so you're going to contact one of your landlord's friends, and and they're going to they're gonna hook you up with a new apartment um, in, a, in a different place that has never been lived in before. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna uh, rent a moving truck. You're gonna rent a moving truck uh, to put all your stuff in. Um, but first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put everything you own into cardboard boxes and drill tiny little holes on every side of every single box because you're gonna be bringing this truck uh, to uh, a, s a fumigation specialist who will spray poison into the truck. Um, now, once everything in your apartment is gone, um, bring anything that you don't want down to the street. Uh, make sure you wear your hazmat suit just so you don't run the risk of bringing any bed bugs into uh, your new apartment. And finally, you're going to write a, s a special message on all of your uh, furniture uh, just to alert any other bed bug fans in the area. Um, and sure enough, someone's already um, looking through the garbage right next to your discarded bed bug mattress. Um, and then by that evening, someone should have come by, picked up your mattress, and put it on the top of a truck. And, and Brought it straight to a, a warehouse where they, where they refurbish mattresses, and sell them back to mattress suppliers. So, bed bugs will always be in New York because New York is such a wonderful host. Bed bugs, they will always be in New York because New York was made for bed bugs. Because if if bed bugs can make it here, they can make it anywhere. Signing off, Stan Winston.